Hey everybody, I'd like to tell you about a new project that I'm launching called The Turning of the Age. That might strike a chord of hope and longing or maybe of cynicism, uh, considering that we've been waiting for the turning of the age for an awful long time, at least back to the 1960s when the age of Aquarius was imminent. And why hasn't it happened yet? A lot of us have lost hope and, and thought that maybe this this vision of a of world transformation the world of of peace uh a world without money without borders imagine like all that stuff maybe that was just our imagination and it's never going to come but i have a different interpretation of that i think that it is not something that just happens to us but it is something that we choose and it's not only an individual choice and it's not a one-time choice because the patterning of what I call the old story is strong in anybody born into the society of that story. And so the, the, the series of choices that we have to make individually and collectively to move into a new story requires um, a, a catalyst. It requires community. It requires a mutual holding of each other in a new story and a shepherding of each other through the process of the breakdown of old stories, uh, the, the uh, period that I call the space between stories, where you just don't know what it all means anymore or even who you are anymore, and then an emergence of a new story. So the program, it centers around a monthly live stream that I will be giving called the More Beautiful World Progress Report that brings together um, on the one hand, meta-historical and meta-political commentary. You know, not the usual stuff on current events, it, but, but commenting them on them from uh, the perspective of this transition in our society's fundamental myths, its fundamental narratives. Uh, so there's meta-political commentary, um, but also drawing on current events that are not on the radar screen because conventional perceptions do not see them, conventional wisdom does not see them as important. They don't make the news, but actually they are some of the most important things happening. If there is any hope to be had at all, it definitely comes from outside officially narrated reality. It comes from the realms of the alternative, alternative sciences and alternative medicine and alternative technologies, uh, I call them the technologies of reunion. So I'll be bringing that in along with the more conventional current events and also stuff that I pick up from, from psychics and channels, you know, and astrologers, um, the, the, the people who occupy realities a little bit outside consensus reality. Um, and also here's another key piece of the, more Beautiful World Progress Report. It's the stories that I encounter, the people that I encounter, who sometimes, and I, I can recognize these, they, they relate in an experience to me that, that has that ring of, this is a sign of the times. It gives insight into what's happening on this earth. And also I'll bring in my, you know, just my, my what I get from the survey of my own, my own, evolution, my own inner landscape. I mean, I'm certainly not exempt from this initiatory process. And the live calls will also have, I'll also offer something to, to you know, not just observe what is happening, but also to participate and to prepare for participation. So that would be, you know, I would offer some kind of prayer or meditation in each of these sessions. And, and then there'll also be a, a live streamed Q&A maybe a week or so after each of the More Beautiful World Progress reports. The whole thing is hosted, uh, co-hosted by, by me and my amazing, beautiful former wife, Patsy, and the team that she's put together over the last few years so they'll be moderating the the forum and they've created over the past few years 
um, so many resources that, that can really help to deepen and integrate the information that comes through in the More Beautiful World progress reports so that the turning of the age is actually something that lands in our own lives. I mean, we're actually gonna be doing this together and you know, not just here, but this is one of the places where the turning of the age is, is gathering its, its power. Um, so that we have, in addition to the discussion forum, we have regional groups, uh, some of them quite well established already from previous programs. We have special interest groups, um, you know, that there's one on death, I think there's one on birth, parenting, parenting in the new story, things like that. There's, um, um, we have uh, events, other events, members create their own events. We have, um, it's, it's kind of a, um, for some it's kind of an, kind of an incubator where you can develop projects that, that uh, you know, in a network of people who share some of your values, you know, who are drawn to it because of the ideas that I have um, served and, and shared through, through the work that I do. Um, yeah, so oh, I'd love to see uh, lots of people subscribe to the, to the program. It's gonna be ongoing, you know, indefinitely. And I'm gonna be putting a lot of my personal energy and presence into it. So yeah, I hope to see many of you there. And thank you for your, your attention.